crafters and welcome to Hunky Dory TV. We hope you've had a fabulous start to your day and we hope that we're going to make it even better because it is our Thank Craft It's Friday show and that's right it's Friday we've made it through another week another week in the bag it's brilliant um, my name's Dan I'll be your host for the hour uh, today we are with the wonderful Emily who is producing the show good morning Emily morning. good morning and demonstrating today, there is a lady who, it's controversial, we have just found out, whose family think it is acceptable mm. to eat Easter eggs before Easter Sunday. <sighs> I don't know where I stand on that. Let me pass you across to Natalie Muspratt. Not family yet. There's still no ring on my finger. Oh, it's the other family. The other one. He needs to pull one. his finger out. He does. He does. Mm, he very much um, does. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It, happy Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth. It's a good day. Happy Friday. Uh, everyone, we've got loads going on today. It's our Thank Craft It's Friday show. It's lovely to have you here with us. Uh, we'll be spinning the wheel later on in the show. We will be giving away our Win It Weekly um, gifts today, which is fabulous. And we have a brand new launch to show you about. A little bit of due diligence as always. Throwback Thursday. <sighs> Yesterday. We sent emails out to all of our customer database um, with a Throwback Thursday. Every now and then we do it. We don't do it every week, oh. Throwback Thursday. Have you seen? Have you just seen the price? Yeah. It's brilliant. Box magazines. I think there were three different box magazines. There was number 10, number 4, and number 5, I think. Box magazines are normally £12.99. They have like up to 40 quid's worth of stuff in. There's, um, really there's still good. card collections, papercraft kits. There's dye uh, stamps. stamps, loads of stuff in there. They're half price, they're five, less than half price, they're £5.99 until 8am Monday. That is incredible for everything you get inside. It's amazing. Uh, we don't have one here because we're, we're badly prepared because that's how we like to rock and roll. Um, issue 10 has sold out, however issue 4 and 5 are still up for grabs. Well worth getting yourself one. Um, they're back issues, issue 4, issue 5. If you didn't have that at the time, grab it now. Uh, I love that Throwback Thursday runs through till Monday. I know, great, isn't it? It's quite we good, that, isn't it? Four days. Four days. Four days of great deals. Four days of opportunity. I like that. Uh, we say head over to the hub to learn all about embossing on day 12 of National Craft Month. Uh, so there is a blog all about embossing there. And embossing is something that we're going to be getting into because yes. at some point, and it's months away, I've already let the secret go. So I there's, know. No, there's no problem in me. I was very excited, repeating though. It. You are excited, aren't you? So excited. Uh, we're going to be bringing you a new heat tool. We're going to be bringing you new embossing powders, but it's a few months away yet. Win it weekly. Shall we jump onto it? Uh, we are giving away this week three little books. Let me show you these three little books. There we go. One, two, uno, dos, tres. The way you said that then was the most, most northern thing you could have said. What did we're I say? We're giving away three little books. We're giving books. away three little books. No, I didn't say books. You three didn't say books. books. You said books, but it was very northern. If you don't know, guys, we're um, we're, we're up in, in the northwest. We are. We're impressed. We're advocates for the north, aren't we? <laughs> If we're advocates for the North, then uh, it's a shame for the North. Let's be honest, <laughs> probably no one's going to come and visit. So um, please do come and visit the North. We have the Lake District. It's wonderful. February Little Books Multibuy is what we're giving away in our Win It Weekly competition this week. Uh, there are going to be five winners. And you don't get one of these books. If you win, you get all three. That's pretty cool. It's mega. Pretty cool. Um, Emily chose this. Emily chooses the prizes for Win It Weekly. And I think she does a she very does good a job. She does a great job. Kudos, Emily. 
if you would be in, uh, if you would like to be in with a chance of winning these three little books, we're going to give them away today. We're going to give oh, five I love this of question. each of them. We're going to find out what it is. Oh, we're going to tell you the answer to the question, which is brilliant. Like, share, and comment. Native to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? Native to the Great Caribbean, question. what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? Is it A, a frog, a chicken frog? Is it B, a flamingo? Well, that's a bird, so it's closer, maybe. I would love it to be the flamingo. <laughs> is it C, a cheeky monkey? I don't know. I don't know the answer. Frog, flamingo, or cheeky monkey. Um, I'm hoping that we get some kind of interesting information later on. Is there, Em? Have I got something to explain it and everything? Uh, you may have a picture. I may oh, have a picture. a picture. You've got a picture. This is That's even brilliant. better. Uh, guys, if you want to be in with a chance of winning, make sure you, you put a comment. It's all you need to do. People have been commenting on our shows this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also comment on The Hub. Uh, later on, I will call time on this and there will be no more entries. Uh, when we hit that point, the guys will do their, their special choosing, uh, however they do it, I don't know. Um, it's lucky dip though. Uh, and five people will be called out later on at the end of the show. So you've got about 45 minutes to be in with a chance of winning. Make sure you are in. You've got to be in it. To win it. <laughs> we'll try that again. You've got to be in it. To win it. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I think we do that every time. We should. I think we should. Definitely. <laughs> uh, okay, today's product is an absolute corker. It launched on Creative and Craft. Was it yesterday now? Was it the day yeah, before? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, and it was very, very, well. very popular. Uh, we're going to show you a little VT with some cards and some inspiration made with that product. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say pyramage, I say pyramount. And that's what we've got here. <laughs> I really did not did know you? where you were going. Where I was like, going with this? why are we talking about tomatoes? We've, <laughs> what we've, is going on? We've got, it's Friday. Thank <laughs> craft, it's Friday. Um, it's our new Pyramount collection. Um, Pyramount is Pyramount's brilliant. We're going to show you in a second some of the cards that have been made. But it's a his and hers collection. We've got a little pack shot showing you we the multi-buy that is look available. Look at that. First off, look at the volume that you're getting. Incredible. Incroyable. So much there. There's a lot of accoutrement in this. <laughs> it's incroyable. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. This is our Pyramount Toppers his and hers multi-buy. I don't know how many sheets there are in there because I can't count. There's there's a lot, aren't there? There's two times 16. There's 32 sheets there. there. I think it might be more, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, you can save £4 with this bundle. It contains both the his and the hers Pyramount collections. It's the price now. Look it's at that price mega. down there. Down there on the screen. Down there. <laughs> Four Look at that price. Mega price. £19.98. Okay, let's show you a little bit closer what you get for your money. Um, love Pyramount. I think it's really good. So for people who uh, who like decoupage or the look of decoupage, yeah, the 3D depth and dimension of decoupage, mm -hmm. but find it a little bit trickier to put together, maybe hands not as mobile, uh, maybe you want it to be quicker, because decoupage yes, can be quite timely. It can be quite, quite timely. Time. Pyramage. Pyramount is for you. Uh, let's take a look. So, you build this up in the same way as you would decoupage, where you start with a base layer, you start yes. with the bottom layer, and then you build up as you bottom layer there, you build up as you go along, you put this layer onto this layer, and then you put a small layer on top of that, um, and you end up with, I think it's four deep, is it? It's yes. four deep. You end up with something, uh, with an image that's four deep. Uh, and it's really, really nice when the uh, card makes for really, really nice cards when they're made up. You get sentiments on here as well, as you can see, and there's a mix of different sentiments. The price has just popped up on the screen there. It's £11.99. For that £11.99, you get 16 topper sheets. Each of those topper sheets... Have three images on. Three images on. There yeah. are eight different designs. You get two of each. So you can make each design twice. So if you love this car at the top as much as I do, because I think it's brilliant. It's proper cool. I think it's a cracking top of that. 
um, then you can make two cards, which is brilliant. These make the cut, they make the toppers that can go on your cards. Okay, I uh, love the barber shop there in the middle and the little guy at the bottom, very cute. Let's keep going through. This says his Pyramid collection. It's not just for him. Definitely it, not. There are ladies that play football. It is a thing. There is. There are ladies that love football. Of course. Um, lighthouses. Anyone's allowed to love a lighthouse, you know. People that live by the seaside. I don't know about this his and hers thing. Uh, look at the tiger at the bottom. Isn't it fantastic? Can you see the different shapes? I'm just going to go back here. So you've got square here. You've got a rectangle here. You've got a lovely scalloped sort of... Um, it's, a, a, it's like a label, a isn't it? label frame, isn't it? Um, here you've got the square, you've got the... Oh, you've got the same there, but I think that we come to different ones. That one's in silver foiling, so it is different. And then um, when you move on through the collection, um, you can see you've got so many different varieties in here. Um, this one is, again, those shapes in gold foiling. Absolutely lovely. Love the little guy, chilling out. Um, it's his birthday, clearly. Uh, Great. So, so when we're saying his, it's for kids as well. So yeah. you've got the the sort of monster trucks, or uh, at, at the top there, you've got guitars. Whether you've got a teenager who uh, who loves guitars, you've got the fish for people who love the fishing. So there's all sorts of hobbies and interests in here. Ah, there we go. There's your other six shapes. Okay. So shapes. as we said, you've got circle here, which is the cricket bat that you can see. You've got ovals there. I'm showing you. I've just turned this so that you can see the train. Lovely old-fashioned steam train. It's amazing. Beautiful in the centre there, uh, and you've got scallop circle as well. Um, so there's more shapes in this, and these shapes are going to work perfectly with some card blanks that I'm going to show you later. Um, look at that! Isn't that lovely? Look at the wolves. I'm not going to howl. I'm not going to howl. Um, it's really, really nice. This love the artwork. Love the fact that it's all different themes. It's a real mix. It's a huge mix, isn't it? Really, there's definitely something for everyone that you can find in this collection. I like as well. I'm just going to go back there. So you see the golf one. You've got um, have a terrific day here <laughs> as a sentiment, which is and really the, good. The one underneath it as well says just for you. Uh, very for good. Like, for all these guys, as you'd expect from Hunky Dory, 300 GSM foiled and die cut. You just press them out. Nip off your pips. Yeah. If I'm allowed to say that. I think uh, you Anne Marie are. always nips off her pips, doesn't she? She does. She does. Uh, look at the gaming console at the top, or the game, uh, the gaming controllers, which is brilliant. Um, it's really, really nice. So that's the His Collection, yeah? To go with the His Collection, we'll show you the His Collection first. I think we'll go for a demo in a minute, which yeah, would be lovely, because you guys want to see how these get put together. Before we pop across to that, I'm going to show you the adorable, scorable selection that you can buy to go with your His Collection and show you the... the I'll just sort of fan it out a little. The um, the beautiful array of colours that you're getting here. There are 30 sheets here, so there's 10 different colourways. Uh, and there's three sheets of each. You've got a lovely sort of pillar box red there. Beautiful green. Brown, as you'd expect, for any of those, um, for, certainly for the, the, the stag. There was yeah, a stag there, wasn't there? Yeah, beautiful, wasn't it? Lovely yellow, bright colours as well, the blue. Can you see there's a slight sheen on this because it's Adorable Scorable. Adorable Scorable has been formulated so that it does not crack when you score it. You score it with our scoreboard, you, um, you, you score down, it's guaranteed not to fray, it's guaranteed it's not to feather. Uh, it's an award-winning cardstock, it's 350 GSM and it rocks. I'm proud to say it's, it's, amazing. it's a Hunky Dory exclusive, it's our brand and we believe it is the premier, the best cardstock in the world, not in the country. It's not, life changing. Not in the town. No, no, no. It's better than that. Not in, not in the the county. No, no, no. no. The no. World. Country. No. no. World. It's, Universe. It's incredible cardstock. Um, okay, we've got the the beautiful green, the deeper green. Love that colour. It's nice, isn't it? It's really. I think gritty. that's the colour I'm going to do my nails next week. And if you look at those three colours together, they look really nice together, they don't they? They so work, and, and that's the best thing about this is that. They work and they all coordinate with your toppers as well. They've been designed and picked out especially to go with the toppers that you use. So 30 sheets of A4, 350 GSM, adorable scoreable, and you can see how well the colours go together. It absolutely rocks. Let's jump across to Natalie and see what she's going to demonstrate with this collection. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to just show you how to put together um, your um, main toppers when you get them home. So I've decided I'm going to do the fishing one, actually, because I really like the colours that you get here. Um, it's really quite bright. Um, 
and vibrant in there. So let's pop them out. So first of all, we're going to pop them out like this. And something that is really clever here, um, that some people will think, how are you going to build that up as four? Um, because it is. Um, it looks like there's only three. It looks like there's only those three sections. But what's really clever with these in here is that you have another layer that is hidden between these middle pieces. So that then brings out your four elements. So you can just pop that out of the sheet nice and then you can lay them out in your different sections and you can see here how they're going to lay up. So what you want to do is because you have sort of gaps missing from these first two, I would always recommend turning it over and placing your um, foam pads around the outside. Whether it is foam pads that you're going to use or whether you're wanting to do this with glue. Um, but I'm going to stick to foam pads here um, and I'm going to use my strips. And now I'm going to use my strips because they're flexible, you can move them around and it's going to fit um, across the whole section. So we've got that on there now. And then it's as simple as this. You just want to line your image up, uh, making sure that all they're all equal, um, the spacing around each side, but just also it, that you centralize it with that outside piece. So that's layer one. And then again, with these layers, I am gonna use foam pads because there is a bit in the middle um, and I don't wanna get any foam pad um, in there. So we're just going to use our strips around the outside edge. I suppose it doesn't really matter as long well, as, it it's, as, long no, as it's going it across it, it's fine. As long as it sort of fills the whole gap. Someone I know is a it's perfectionist a though, Natalie. Yeah, yeah. The first time I did it, I did get foam pads stuck to the inside and then I got my toppers stuck on my desk. So ah. that's probably <laughs> why, that's probably why I have that. So then I'm just going to snip that down. That's going to fit on my smaller piece. So then let's build this one up, making sure it's in line again. Guys, if you want to get ahead of us on the website, you can do it. It's hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Uh, you'll find that as soon as you get onto the website, there will be a banner. The first main banner is our brand new His and Hers Pyramount. And um, when you take a look at that, and that's that, that's fantastic. Isn't it? It's great. If we move on to the front camera as well, we'll be able to see the real dimension there um, on those lights and how that sort of lifts up. Isn't it's it super? It's really fantastic. Did you see how fast that was? It was so, honestly, it's so quick to do. It's re It takes no time at all. Um, and then the fun really begins because you can start building up your backgrounds and things. So I'm going to do a seven by seven here. So we've got some silver mirror that I'm going to um, put on. And then I've selected some colors from that um, His Adorable Scorable. We've gone for this really nice rain um, cloud and then the moss green. Um, and I've also then been really sneaky and this color from the Hers collection really matches with my fish. Um, so I'm gonna bring that in as well. So then I'm gonna cut my first layer um, so it is fully square. So this is gonna be my base layer. Um, and I want to have a nice little silver edge. So let's go for six and three quarters on that. Six and three quarters by six and three quarters. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like fun um, movement with this. So I'm gonna then cut my green down to five and a half, is that gonna be right? Are we, are we working in inches or notches? We're working in inches. Okay. So this one is six and three quarters. And then with this one, I'm gonna do it at five and one quarter. And I'm gonna cut it down because I want it to sort of fit on this section here, but not all the way across. Okay. Um, but obviously I like things to be quite equal as well. So then let's cut that. If that was five, this is where your math comes in. So I want to take it down to one and a half inches this way. Okay. I think. Well, the good news is I have more yeah. of the cardstock, so if you if, if you I trim, mess up, if you trim okay. too much off, don't let's, worry. That's a good idea, actually. Let's just go to six, and then you can make sure. Oh, actually, I quite like it being like that. Do you? 
It's it's uneven, but I think it it's, it's purpose different. purposefully uneven. And then I'm going to add some silver mirror to that as well because so the colours kind of need lifting off. I think. Guys, if you are jumping ahead of us on the website, you're going to find there's a couple more products that we haven't shown you yet. I'm going to give you the really quickest sneaky peek. We've got some amazing insert paper. Look at this. All the beautiful sponged colours for just, um, I think that's $9.99, is it? We're going to find it $8.99. That's even better. And if you're thinking, oh, I want, I want a card blank that's ready-made, we've got ready-made card blanks foiled aperture cards they're coming up on the show back to natalie it's crazy there's so much cool stuff on here um so i've just cut some silver mirror down and i've just made it so it's just slightly over that edge here you can't even see because i'm not even in shot um here we go so i've cut my mirror and i've just left a more of a gap here um so i just need to trim a little bit off my side so that it's equal all the way around so this is six so if we just take that to two notches below so this card is this an asymmetric should. card then isn't it yeah it's gonna be super funky i feel when we finish and then i am gonna bring in this orange color as well and i'm just gonna do a little two a little two inch strip so Let's just trim that off. And if I take this silver mirror that we've got left over here and just make that to two notches built above two, then how long do I want this to be? I really like asymmetry. I think so much in, About in, here, in maybe? So, so often in life we look for symmetry in things, don't we? We want yeah, things but to be sometimes exactly the same. Asymmetry is really nice, it's isn't really it? It's really quite cool if it's just a little bit a little bit off. Same as you're going through life, if you see things in threes, it really resonates and works for you, yes. doesn't it? My threes is better than twos or fours for some reason. It's really strange, isn't it? Flowers. Flowers. flowers it, that is it's the reason, odd isn't numbers, it? Is it? It's always uneven petals. Un un uneven pet oh, are they? Flowers have uneven number of petals? Yeah. Maybe it's one of the reasons. I wonder whether we think things are, are beautiful in odd, odd numbers because of flowers or whether, whether it's the other way around. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's whether, just it Yeah, just I don't fits. know. So then I've cut that strip to um, three, was it three or was it four? Four and three quarters. And then I've just gone two notches above there. So then we get that nice bit. So let's start putting this together because that's the most important part. I'm so what use... we've seen there is that there's an element of trial and error in what, in what you've done that with regards to getting your cards to the right size. Now people go through this and might look at a demonstrator um, on say creating craft uh, and uh, or indeed not sometimes we all, we all do it uh, where everything has already been measured out and everything seems oh, to fit yeah. perfectly first time you have to when don't you're on telly. worry when you're on tv you've got no choice you have to do this we like doing things slightly different here so nat often will make her cards completely from scratch she'll decide what she's doing as she goes along i have some sort of idea of how i would like it to look but um, we love the the fact that you but do i that. like to build it up um with you so you sort of can see my thought process that's and what it. i'm going through um because that's i just think it's that's nice what, that's real crafting yeah that's what we all do at home we exactly. we sit there we measure these out we go oh could i do that should i do this um it's something that everyone does so i'm now just sticking my um miri my adorable scorable sorry to my mirror and then we're going to bring in some foam pads to lift up these layers and really bring it out so i just need to make sure that that edge there and that edge is equal because that means that this one will be like that and then the same with my this bit on we've got some lovely yeah. friends viewing us today on both facebook and youtube Hello. Some names that I know. Hello, hello to hello, everybody. Hello. Shirley Taylor says good morning from a very windy and cold barrow. Oh, do you know know what? that is where. Well, just just off from there. That's where my grand my granddad's from. Oh, is it? Yeah, we always um we always look out for the score. Do the barrow, the barrow? Score, Yeah. How fun. Yeah, because that's where that's like the first football team that Granddad um watched before he moved over to Blackpool. Helen Brocklehurst is on the naughty step, she says. 
Uh, Zara put an order in yesterday for the stamping press. As her old one broke, I don't oh know how no! she broke it. Because um, they're really, really good. They don't tend to break these You'll things. You'll have to let us know what, what happened. Helen says the kettle's on. This is that. good news, Helen. Uh, mine is a tea, no sugar, please. Used to be tea too, but, uh, tea but tea. no longer. No, because um, the, the wife has said, you. she said, Dan, do you think the two sugars in the tea might be, uh, might be contributing to the waistline? <gasps> I said, well, Deborah, how very dare you. Deborah, did can she I, say that? Can I just point out? I don't believe that Deborah said out? that. Everything I've just said, I made up. I was, um, she will be. She if she's watching this, she'll go. Oh my goodness! She watches as well. She listens, you know. She listens because she picks up on things during the day. She says, so <laughs> I get home. I get home and it's so. And when I hear that, there's nothing quite as frightening as so, Daniel. <laughs> apart from, apart from. Daniel James, which is my middle name, because, Mo you, uh, did you get that, Emily? What's yeah. your middle name? What's your middle name? Jane. Jane, that's it. Emily Jane, and you know you're in trouble. I'm glad you didn't come over here with that question. Oh, what is yours? No, because you do know what mine Nat is. Natalie, it's not Louise. Natalie. It is Louise. Is it Louise? Yeah. Natalie Louise. Well, Louise is a lovely name. No, but I have another middle name. Do you? Yeah. I was actually watching a really funny video this morning of actors that have their names spelt differently from how you would, um, how people would tend to have their middle name spelt, and it just reminded me of this because they were like, "Well, it's my mum's fault for doing that," um, which is really funny because it reminded me of my middle name. Go on. Horror. Go it's on. not a horror because she was an amazing lady, and I'm really happy to have been named after her, but. Um, yeah, my middle, I have two middle names. One oh. of them is my great grandma Gladys. Gladys, oh. ace name. Cool name. That is a cool name. Can we call you Gladys instead of <laughs> Natalie? Do you mind? That's what Dan calls me when I'm being grumpy. Gladys? When I'm being a grumpy, like, old lady, that's what I get at home. I think come on, I'm, Gladys. Come on, Gladys. I think I'm right in saying, people at home, am I not, that Gladys was a lady from Heidi High? Is that right? You two won't, oh, you two won't know what Heidi is. what you're going on at. She would, uh, she would come, good morning, campers. It means nothing to you two whatsoever. Nothing but it does to all of all. us at home, I'm sure. But she was an amazing lady. She was strong-headed, strong-willed. Everyone would. Mum used to say, if anyone ever had any issues, they'd be in the, in the house with a brew talking to our Gladys. So, yeah. I'm proud of being called Gladys, but at school it wasn't that fun. Gladys Pugh, that's it, Tracy Wilcox, well done. But everybody is saying, so Vicky says, I know when I'm in trouble, it's Victoria. Vic no one ever yes. calls me that. Um, you do, you get full name treatment. Full name treatment. Full name treatment. So now I've added these um, toppers in, but we've still got some sort of like empty space here, which I'm just going to really simply fill with some... Um, some gemstones so i've gone with silver to bring out the silver that we have everywhere else i'm going to put actually we're going to go with the smallest ones up at the top and i've gone for threes threes does seem to work threes although we do have work. two sentiments on that we do have two sentiments works. i could steal an extra one from a sheet but well you do have you have the two we do sheets, have this we? one so it kind of equals itself out. And then where should the other ones go? But that's so here? different. Guys at home, isn't, I don't know if you're with me, that is so different. It, it's um, because it, she's, she's gone asymmetric with it. It's really different. And it's and then, laid up in a different way. It's so lovely. I did think that if you had sort of like, because um, I've got some here, some, I've got loads of colours here actually that I could choose from. Um, but if you had some, you could make sort of some netting from maybe um, fruit, or um, you could make, you could put some netting in the space in. You could use your uh, twine as like um, wire and rope and create like a little fake um, hook and things like that on there. Um, but I think we're just gonna leave it. Actually, can we do that? Let's throw this on. I was gonna leave it, but I'm gonna You've got do to I have to do it because it's gonna look really cool. Let's go with. I think this blue is going to work the best. You're getting a lot um, of appreciation. Lots of people say beautiful card. Uh, Helen says some twine would look good, but she'd already said that she loved the card. 
Um, Jan says, I was called my full name all the time, which is why I shorten my name now. Isn't it weird how the things that happen in your childhood, you, 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 sometimes you rebel against in the future? You do, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then uh, what I'm going to do is I want this to be sort of like on here. We've got happy birthday. It's just nipped off the page, but we've got happy birthday to Jan, who was 60. Congratulations. Um, uh, well done and congratulations to you. We need Lots more. of people talking about, talking about the names, which is brilliant. It was really, it was just really funny. They all said like, one of them, and it was, oh, I can't remember her name now. She's a British actor, Kira Knightley. Okay. Was it Kira Knightley? I think so. Maybe her name is spelt I-E instead of E-I, and she said, yeah, that's because my mum spelled it wrong on the birth certificate. Really? So that's brilliant. It was just really funny how this, these things happen. So my, my dad didn't have a middle name. Somebody just popped Some up and said that they didn't know. have a middle name. Oh, there you go. Lynn says she fit, she always felt left out because she doesn't have a middle name. Don't feel left dad out. Dad didn't have a middle name. And the reason why he didn't have a middle name is because his dad, or my granddad, um, had two middle names and they were old family names. So he was called... Like mine? He was called... No, well, no, they were like family surnames, I think. He was called oh. Thomas Crawshaw Rudd Newhouse. That and Crawshaw, he hated it. So he always wanted, just wanted a normal middle name. So he gave his son no middle name. That is quite, yeah. And simple. that's an interesting story it, it, for it you, everyone. It's really interesting. When, when I was growing up, I used to spend quite a lot of time in the lakes because that's where my granddad was from. And his great aunt lived up there on a farm. Uh, it was the best childhood ever, going on the farm for the weekends. Mm. Um, and his, everyone up there called him Garnet. And I was like, why is he being called Garnet? I don't get it. Garnet and, um, as in the stone. Garnet. Garnet as in the stone, yeah. And that's because that's his real name. His real, oh, no, he's called Clifford Garnet. But his dad's also called Clifford. Oh, so everyone up there yeah. called him by his middle name. Yeah. And I used to get really confused. I was like, why is he calling Garnet? A lot of people are Garnet? called by their middle name. So my, my grandfather, and we call him grandfather because he's Cornish. Uh, it's it's uh, um, like, I think granddad in some places, a grandpa or grandpa, yeah. you know. Grandfrey's Cornish, and um, his middle name's Vigus, and oh, that's what everyone that calls him. So his name is Vigus. His, his real name's Tom uh, Thomas again. So both granddads were Tom, uh, but he's Vigus. Um, it's a crazy name, isn't it? It's fun. That's really really cool, actually. So now I just thought because this, I just wanted to add like a little bit of like the fishing thing. So I've cut this literally freehand. You just saw me do it from some Miri. I'm just gonna pop some construction glue and we are nearly finished I promise but I just had to do this. No we love we love it when people are demonstrating we love seeing uh, the, the cards come together and how they do. Um, it's we super. need to get some more construction glue in here though. Uh, I have it Zara says my hubby's middle name is Roland R-O-W-L-A-N-D and during our wedding vows I cracked up when I had to repeat his full name. Poor Roland. There Roland. Are some great Roland was, um, Roland great was in names. Grange Hill. Now it's more stuff that you guys I no, I think I remember Grange. Uh, no, I don't really. Yeah. Yeah, no, Roland was a little boy in Grange Hill. I, if I remember rightly, but there we go. So I've just lifted it up slightly, so that bit look doesn't look as sort of together. And then where was my? These always have like little dots on them, don't they? So let's get the pearls out because they always have little like bobbly things on them. So let's get the blue ones so it matches. Do you know what I love when we're um, when we when we're doing our shows and ones. we have our Win It Weekly, um, and you've forgotten that you've asked the Win It Weekly question, and you've forgotten that uh, you know what the, the the answers were or whatever, and you're just scrolling down the comments and all of a sudden you see the word frog and you think <laughs> what why are they oh, why frog? Coming? and then you remember oh yes that's why. Can I um, let's go take that one off? I've gone for two there. Because that's how your fishing hooks are. I do remember this. My dad used to take me fishing. Oh, you've created it. That's so clever. Um, so I've created a little hook. Where's my silver ones? Here they are. And then I'm just going to put a medium sized one just at the bottom bit there. So it just looks like a real fishing hook. Let's trim. Let's actually stick that down so it doesn't come off. And then what we can do is stick this straight onto our card blank. But you could add um, some maybe a little bit of netting from some fruit packaging. Um, Sheila really always works. used to keep that. Yeah, so um, you know that you get your nectarines in? 
Well, mine come in bags because I'm not posh, but yeah. People are still, people, <laughs> nobody in the world knows what, what a difference between nectarine and a tangerine is. I don't, I don't, I don't know I, any difference I between any oranges, understand. to be honest. No. Any of them. They, I, I mean, they made that. it easy at the start by calling it orange and it being orange. So yeah, why do they have to then to... make it difficult by coming up with tangerines you, and yeah. whatever, you know? Anyway, that's the moment for the day. That, this is looking super. We are finished, I think. Did Can I just ask, did we put a timer on this, Emily? Because do you remember my, it was my really longest long. demo so ever? I'm so sorry. That was really long, wasn't it? Do you it? think Natalie might have... I'm so sorry. I was just having too much fun. I'd also like to point out that fun. Natalie's card is, is we'll etch definitely echelons speed up above. The next one. No, we'll your card is echelons better up. than mine was. Natalie, that's fab. Uh, the that. asymmetry is great. I think the the fact that you created that hook uh, out of nowhere, I missed that happening. Yeah, uh, sorry, it was very, it was very, very, very fast. Good. Uh, let me show you a couple more cards that have been made with our um, uh, his uh, Pyramount collection. Um, so that is, it looks like a cracker. It's a cracker. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> We go for this one, which is really nice for a music lover. Now, this is utilising one of those lovely frame cards, uh, aperture cards, that we're going to show you again in a little while. Um, and then we have a nice stepper card here as well with the shed there. But you can see how the, how the pyramid really works. There you go. So that looks lovely, doesn't it? It's really, really nice. Guys, this is £11.99, but if you like to make cards for both ladies and gentlemen, and indeed these cards can be made for anyone, the choice is yours, what's really nice is our brilliant £19.98 Pyramount Toppers His and Hers Multi-Buy. You're saving four quid, uh, which is brilliant. And on top of that, because it is a, a, a price and not a multi-buy, the, the calculation isn't done on, by the website, that £19.98 you will get your well, club discount you on it. Is that correct, yeah. Emily? Have I got it right? Yeah. So if you take 5% off that, is that another quid? Am I right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure it's about 18 99 for club members. Free to join our club. Guys, get your cheers to you free gift while you've still got the chance. If I say there are only a couple of hundred left, um, it could That's last a couple of days. probably being quite nice as well, it's, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, there's very few left. People, if you want that ultimate bundle, uh, the cheers to you, that is nearly out of stock as well. Um, will there be a new club gift soon? Who knows? Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Um, let's jump on to the hers selection. Uh, this is the uh, hers selection. It's £11.99. It is available um, just the same. Oh, each of these. I don't think I told you before. Each of these sets makes you 48. Oh, no, you didn't. Pyramount, did I tell people? No, Four, no, you didn't. 48 Pyramount toppers with each of these sets. So you get them both together. That's 96 top, uh, Pyramount toppers, Pyramount toppers for just 1998. I think it's brilliant. Uh, okay, let's look at the hers. Love the typewriter there. Really, really nice. Again, we're going with the same shapes. So you'll notice this because then they work with the aperture cards that I will show you in a minute. Uh, love the clock at the bottom as well. Um, as you know, you get two of each. You get the sentiments down there as well. Two sentiments, a choice of two sentiments for each of these designs. Uh, the cupcake's lovely there. Whether it's a violin or a viola, or I'm not 100% sure. Very posh, me. isn't it, a viola? Love the cute little puppy at the bottom. Really, yeah. really nice. Uh, so that's silver foil. There's a mix of gold and silver foil in this. Um, the camera, love the uh, dream catchers, they're called, aren't they? Uh, and the the um, the fla flower flowery teacups is that a thing? Flowery teacups. Yeah, because I see quite yeah. a lot of flowery teacups. So people it's really quite vintage, isn't it? It's like a ni nice way to look, like so a nice thing to do in your house. You go out to your garden. We're doing this at home. We, we're um, we're growing loads and loads of little flowers, and we, we've got them in seeds at the minute, and they're in the um, uh, the conservatory, and they're all all set out, and we've got this like grow box thing, and they're in it, uh, and it's wonderful. You go home, and there's new green or green shoots coming out and it's really exciting so i'm guessing that people are going outside to their garden trimming some flowers bringing it inside and then putting it in a lovely teacup that Cheers. sounds really nice actually might do that this year there we go um lovely again look at the sewing machine in the middle really nice two of those so there's two of all of these sheets of course um, this one down at the bottom, great for, for the, um, the girls, any, any age from, you know, five, six up to teenagers. I think so. Really works, doesn't it? Oops, there we go. Really nice, some nice florals in here as well, but it's a nice mix, isn't it? 
Oh, look at that. It's going the right way. Yes. The dolphins. How lovely. And again, you've got this sort of scalloped one at the bottom. So you've got different shapes, which is really nice. There were two there, of course. The bike. Love the unicorn. Very nice. Okay, so that is our... Oh, and another one of those. That's our hers Pyramount. Get them both together for 1998. And I'll show you the adorable scoreable that you can get to go with this to match. I've got a purple the wrong way around there. Give me a second. There we go. So from a colour perspective, again 30 sheets here. £9.99, 350 GSM, adorable scoreable, lovely mix of colours. Here we go. Look at that, it's really soft. So that isn't white, might look white. There you go, now you can see it against white. You can see it isn't. It's a really soft ivory, or buttercream, really. Uh, I should have learnt the names of the new colours, and that I haven't a done. Smooth caramel. Oh, smooth caramel. Um, that's lovely. That's like a powder blue. Yeah, it's really pretty. Wisteria. That really is white, and then you've got that gorgeous in between -y tone. I call it the crafter's companion tone. Orchid. Or orchid. It's that lovely. One. It's beautiful. Okay. Very pretty. Back across to Nat for what will be a slightly quicker demo than yes, the last. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I've, I've done some little preparing, so it is. So I'm actually going to use um, this. I'll show you which one I'm going to use first, but we'll make it up later on. I'm going to use this circle one with a beautiful bike. So what I did was I selected some colours from the collection to be able to work with this. And I'm also using one of our new Aperture Car Blanks, which Dan will show you through um, a little later on. So first of all, I am just going to... This is I've cut this to size, so I know it fits perfectly. And then what I'm going to do is... It's really easy to do it in here, and you can see when I move my card stock like this that you could, you might be able to see that this is slightly lighter. But if you're doing this at home, I would recommend doing it near a window, um, and then you can really see the light um, of where that gap is. But it just allows you to put your die in place on your card stock so you can have an equal gap there and then you can move it around with your fingers make sure that it's going to be sort of perfect to the light and then bring it down and go straight in with some low tack tape because we do not want that to budge where we put it um, and then now regarding the uh, the flowers in the teacup conversation Jane's got a brilliant idea I love it she said you can grow a plant in a teacup and have it inside Aww. all out. That is really cool. That is clever, isn't it? That is very cool. So then I'm just going to run this through my um, Gemini MIDI. And what I did when I was selecting this, because obviously you already have your aperture cut out, um, and what you could do is you could stick straight onto that. But these apertures are foiled, and I want to still bring that in. And the collection has, and the topper I'm using has some white, so it will be nice to have that little white edge. So I use, this is the die from our Scalloped Circles and straight edge dies and I've used one, two, three, fourth in um, and then this is going to give us you oops. get you get so many different sizes don't you on those you nesting do. dies? I think the straight edge nesting dies as well would leave you with less of a white edge but I'm going to use this large white edge here um, which I've created now and you can see it is quite head on I would say maybe it's a little bit too over here um, but we could just budge that up and then trim some off the bottom if now, we wanted do you know to. What it, there's a slight look of a port of a porthole to it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? It does look very cool. So then what I'm going to do is just trim this down to, um, we're going to go one, two, three. I'm going to go three notches this way, three notches below five on two edges, and then three notches below the seven on this side. And then on the next two, to make it equal on each side, because obviously now it's not, we're going to go three notches from the three notches we've just taken off. One, two, three. Mad maths there for you, everyone, on this delightful morning. And now I can't remember, do I need to do the top? Oh, Emily, <laughs> we've messed it up here. One, I'm going to have to check. I've got some going to have to check. I've got some good personal news. Deborah's just texted me. She's at Sainsbury's, which means she can't have been watching, which means I can't get into trouble for all the naughty things I say. <laughs> Watch it's good that's true because you can watch us on catch up guys on facebook or on youtube what a beautiful segue into that emily well done <laughs> smooth 
Okay, so that and one, two, three, one, two. I just need I to love the pink, it's a very that. pretty colour. It is, isn't it? And it really matches the um, pink that we've got. So now I've got that. I wanted to bring in this yellow because we've got the yellow on the flowers. Um, so this is just going to be, I'm going to cut this to, let's do it this way because I've trimmed off some of the edge earlier. Guys, Five if you don't seven. have our paper trimmer at home, why not? Because uh, you can it's see true. how much use um the guys get from it when when they're demonstrating it's it's a lovely piece of kit you can get new blades for it as well but one of the really clever things is that you can choose how far and i think that's doing that now i am you? i am because i don't want to because i've got that aperture but i want to have a little yellow line around my um work um i'm i'm just trimming an aperture into, from, the card into the cardstock so then i'm just using i've just got the edge that i need to put my uh, piece on and then the bottom bit again and it so also saves you up on cardstock and then you've got um, bits to use for die cutting things like that um, i've done a terrible job at cutting this aperture though because none of my corners match don't worry about that but what we can do is just snip that away because no one's going to see it it doesn't need to be perfect you just join that up and there you go you've got your edge out there and we just stick this onto it like so isn't that super so let's use our construction glue for that so construction glue is back in stock guys not only is it back in stock we put it at eight pounds 99 for a multi buy of six instead of nine pounds 99 we took an extra pound off do you know why because we love you that's why and also because it's saying sorry because I didn't get it ordered in time again. Um, I have actually placed a reorder for remanufacture of this, even though we just received what was I think it was thirty-five thousand bottles came in. It was a lot. Something. It was a lot. A lot. Um, but <laughs> a chunk of it's already sold out. Um, people love construction glue. It's a great. It's a solvent-based adhesive. Um, but it sticks, people use it for all sorts, People don't use it for everything. You can stick loads of things together with this. So now I'm going to stick this in place and we will do that with our construction glue again. So I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add that to here, making sure it's on my second level as well. Because obviously you do have one bit of cardstock there, so it is a little dip. You could, um, if you have our very thin foam pads, add foam pads oh just to raise this. it up a yeah, little that just would a little bit as well. or just add a big blob of construction glue because um it's quite when it dries it can dry quite thick actually okay and then i'm going to pick this up very Move carefully into place yeah because there's glue everywhere now but what and you're doing here is very technical. Guys at home, aperture. you will see that these aperture cards, um, yep. one of which Natalie is using here, they can just be used as they are, they can. as white aperture cards. You can just press, because it's already die cut, they're already foiled, you can just press uh, that, that circular aperture out and use it as a card. What Nat's doing here is some really cool technical work. Just the way you. which you can cover it if you wanted to. Um, but you don't have to do it like this. You can do it with your inks. You can do it with your pens because it's Ink Me cardstock. Oh, that's brilliant you because can. it's Ink Me. Yeah. You just go straight in with your, uh, your Prism Ink pads. They're back in stock, guys, as well. The Prism Ink Pad bundle is back in stock. Um, they've all gone out, so the people who pre-ordered it will have them in their hands. They will be enjoying them. They are cracking, cracking um, they uh, are. ink pads, aren't they? So I'm going to put... I'm going to do the to a special friend because I'm also going to add in um, a sentiment from our combo dies. So let's just make this up now. Can I ask you a question, Nat? Go for it. Do you love us enough to do another demonstration for us in this show today, or is this the last one? This was going to be the last one. Was it? Yeah. Because it is already... But we can do another one. Yeah, but I want another. <laughs> You'd be able to do a quick one for us. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. superstar. Yeah. Okay, that would be lovely because I think we'll people try. at home, we love seeing, um, uh, My crazy. we love seeing your demos. I'm going to go back to the uh, to the comments and see what people are saying. Jane I've Kennedy says that piece. she might try the construction glue. Sounds good. Uh, I'm sure that I don't need to say anything else about construction glue because I know that when I look, pe there will be people who say construction glue rocks. Yeah, um, all the time. There is no better 
uh, there's no our viewers, way. the comments, yeah. it, you know, they're real people at home. So they're um, the people you need to be listening to, aren't they? Because they use them. the product, they know um, just how good it is. So we've got our Pyramount ready. I'm going to add in another item which Dan will show you, which is our essential um, coloured inserts. So I'm just going to trim this down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters so it's going to give me a nice fresh edge and I'm doing this first because this needs to go in because my Paramount is going to fit in this aperture so we need to stick this down first just to cover up that edge so let's get our tape on here and I, I'm going to stick down both sides just because um, because of the way that we're doing this. Kim Dixon has got a great question. Okay. She says, so people at home, if you have got one of our goodie boxes, you can't buy them anymore. I'm sh they have gone. There's none and left. And they won't be back this year. Well, it's not planned for them to come back this year. Um, it was uh, ridiculously um, uh, successful, I guess, is, is the so way you want to say. People it? loved it. Um, there are so many goodie boxes out there. If you got your goodie box, just, indeed more than one, then you will have a, there should be a piece of paper with a code on it. And that code gives you 10% off at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk for the rest of this month, all the way through to the 31st of March. Now, Kim asked a great question, if I can just find it again. She said, I got two of the goodie boxes, because lots of people got two, threes, and indeed fours. Yeah. Um, and they should all have had different stuff in as well. And I've seen people's um, posts saying how wonderful the goodie boxes are. If I got two of the goodie boxes, can I use the 10% code only once? It's a great question. I'm hoping that one of our awesome team who are monitoring the comments will pop on and tell us the answer that I want to hear, which is you can use it as many times as you want all the way through March. As far as I'm concerned, it is not a single use code, although I might get shot for saying that if I'm wrong. So I'm hoping yeah, I'm right. You might be in trouble with Kelly there, but we'll see. Emily, we any, see. any idea on that? Ah, oh, she's going to get back to us, but we are genuinely hoping it should be. Um, as people still waiting on their box, there will be. Uh, it was incredibly popular. Um, so people, if you bought your boxes probably on the Saturday, Sunday, they're only just going out now. Um, it, it was an incredibly popular uh, promotion, but all the goodie boxes have all been assembled. Um, they should all have been picked. So they are in dispatch waiting to go out that door any that have not actually, um, you can only use the code once it says. Oh no. My heart is broken. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do about that because oh. I would love it. I would love us to be able to use it more than once. Uh, so Kim Dixon, I will see what I can do because there may be a clever way to, to sort it. Um, I have an idea as to what that can be. So make sure that you're watching on Monday because on Monday, I should be able to tell you a, uh, a clever way of being able to use your code more than once. So what I did here was, there are sentiments in here, but I wanted to use the hello because I thought it really matched and it was really fresh and it goes really nicely with that circle. So I've cut that out of the yellow and then just topped it onto some silver, just pushing it to the side so you get that really nice effect. But I want it to pop even more. Um, so I think I'm going to just put it onto um, this piece of white cardstock. I think, or maybe not, maybe it just looks good there. Let's do it just on its own. Let's do that. I think the white just takes it off a little bit. So I've got this on some foam pads. They're really thin foam pads that I've just added to the bottom here um, because I just wanted to fill more of the space um, that I had here. So I thought using my dies, um, and these combo dies are excellent, would be the perfect example so I'm going to put hello here and then these combo dies comes with stamps um, and all the stamps are amazing so I've got sunshine here which I'm just going to use some VersaFine um, this is a, a sticky ink pad because I want everything to tie in together I'm going to stick that onto there and then where is it here it is I'm going to use some silver embossing powder just to put that on there I still don't think this has been longer than the first demo no, yet I love this I think it's but beautiful. I wanted to incorporate everything that I 
could to show you that you can really make some beautiful cards by adding loads of different things that you have at home. Um, and these combo dies are perfect to be able to do that with. So I've got my sunshine now in that silver, which matches again coordinating with the silver from the kit and everything else. So let's put that to one side. Now this card is absolutely lovely. It's really fun, isn't it? Yes. Shall we give this away? Because uh, I've not I'd done a giveaway on my page in so long. So let's do a giveaway after the show. Okay, if you want to be with a chance of winning this card, then you need to be following on Facebook. Yes. Uh, and your name is Natalie Muspratt, is it not? It's Natalie Hunky Dory. It's Natalie Hunky Dory. Although if you search for Gladys Hunky Dory, you might <laughs> also find her. We're not changing my name. You Natalie are Hunky Dory. Only allowed to call me Gladys when I'm being grumpy. Jackie says, I love watching what you make, Natalie. Natalie, I think Aww. you're incredibly talented. Thank you, Dad. Um, and so do the uh, so do the viewers. Uh, I yes. love absolutely love this card. Guys at home, I've got an idea. Uh, I'm gonna get in lots of trouble for this, but I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, the marketing team will the marketing manager will tell me off. I know. She's gonna kill so, you. She's gonna kill me, right? But I've got a plan. I've got a plan. It's a really good a plan one. to save your life. If you bought a goodie box, then you will have a 10% off code. If you use that 10% off code, then it will no longer be valid. You'll only be able to use it one time. Okay. We're going to send out to all the people who bought a goodie box. Oh, she is going to kill you. She is. All the people who sent a goodie box, I'm going to send a code out that is a, is a reusable code that they will be able to use through till the 31st of March. Because I said You're in that trouble. that's what I thought it was. I got it wrong. I'm going to make it right. That's the way to do it. So um, expect to get that at some point over the weekend, uh, as long as my friend Kelly, who is our marketing manager, um, uh, what do you, us what to do, do you, it. What do you think, Em? Do you think he's uh, in I've trouble? Got all of the marketing team talking to me right now. Uh, <laughs> Genuinely, have you? Are they all? Are they, are they all like? Shut she him up. See, she's got uh, all the all the chat things up. Am I in trouble? Is, who's mad, who's maddest with me? It's Kelly, isn't it? it? Is Kelly. It's Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, I'm so sorry. I think it's a great idea. Let's, um, you know, I like ten percent off. It's good, isn't it? I like getting ten percent off. So just to finish off my card, I've stuck my Hello Sunshine on, added it onto a bit of yellow, and I just cut that freehand because I thought it was quite funky and cute. And then, just to bring in those flowers that we have in the basket, I've chosen a darker pink and that beautiful wisteria colour from my collection. And now the only uh, things I think are gonna, that are going to make this better is the beautiful yellow pearls. I absolutely love these pills. So I'm going to just add in, how many have we got on here? I'm going to add in two, I might have to do these um, uneven, you know, this is going to kill me. Natalie, I might have to go now, I might have to leave because I think I might need to escape the car park um, before people realise because I'm going to get in a lot of trouble when I walk out of here. You are, everyone is going to be like, why did you, why, what have you done? Why did you let him do that? And then I'm just adding some pearls to the centers of my flowers because it just makes those flowers look beautiful. Um, and then there we go. Now that's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. Guys at home, um, you, you saw Natalie, it, it's taken about, it's probably 10 minutes or so, something like that. But cards like that are going to take some time they do take some time and you could get really creative and add loads of different things on here as well um, maybe some foliage and things but yeah it's fun to do that's a smashing card now um, Emily I think I'm gonna say that <laughs> that is my yeah already it's in there it's certainly my favorite card so far in March could be the winner of the year, who knows? And we're gonna do that, we're gonna do best card of the year. Uh, guys, I want to show you two other things. Um, before I do, Win It Weekly, if you wanna be in with a chance of winning our three gorgeous. What's that, darling? You don't have long left? We don't have long left. Um, our beautiful February Little Books multi-buy. We need to know, native to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is a mountain chicken? Is it A, a frog? Is it B, flamingo? Is it C, monkey? If there's one thing we do know, it'll probably taste like chicken. Because everything, everything does. Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> uh, okay, so we want to know the answer to that question. You've got about five minutes, okay? And that's it. And then we're going to call it, and then they're going to choose the winners. Uh, let's take a look at this go these gorgeous inserts. Um, I'd love to know how many are in them. I can't remember. There we go. 48 sheets. 
It's coloured insert paper, so it's single sided, so you've got the other side as white if you wanted to use white, if you're looking for a white sheet of paper, but I wouldn't, because there's this beautiful sponged design oh, colour. stunning, isn't it? There's the green, look at these different colours, kind of a, 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 a pink going to red there. Lovely lilac, and this sponge is perfect for inserts. It just gives it a little bit of texture, so that when you're, when you're putting an insert inside your card, oh, and it's A4 as well. So you can trim this down to any size you want, um, including an inside of an A4 card, if you're just doing the, uh, the, the, the inside of one side, if that makes sense. You just score these in half, and they're A5. So you've got six by six, you've got five by five, four, four by four, seven by five, etc. Uh, look at the blue, lots of lovely colors in here. Um, one of my favorites is this. It's sort of gray, it's really nice. Have you seen 140 GSM, 48 sheets? What's the price now? $8.99. <laughs> it's all right, we'll get you someone else. £8.99. Uh, okay, last product we're going to show you today um, as a coordinating item that you can get with our wonderful His and Hers Pure Amount. I just want to show you again that pack shot because it's brilliant. That is £19.98. It's both the His and the Hers, normally £11.99 each. Both of them together in one large bundle sent to you, to your house. Nineteen ninety-eight. Take your club discount off. That's another quid off. It's it, it's like nineteen quid instead of twenty. It's brilliant. Natalie stood up. I don't know what she's doing over there. I just want to get that handbook. You want to get the handbook? Shall I move out of the way? Hold on. Natalie is on a on a mission. There we go, Nat. Thanks. Smooth. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Eighteen ninety eight with your discount, isn't that brilliant? I've got some envelopes here. Envelopes are important because you want to put your cards in them. There are enough envelopes to fit the number of cards that I'm going to show you, so do not worry about that. How many envelopes? There's 24. Our fancy foiled Aperture cards, 24. They're 300 GSM Ink Me, so it's the gorgeous Ink Me that you know and love, that you can utilise your, uh, your ink pads on or your any colouring mediums, your glimmer mist, so on and so forth. Um, they're already scored for you, so they've got a platinum score in them, which means that it's a, it's a, a perfect true score. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The only way you can get anywhere near it is with an adorable scoreboard. Uh, and if you see, look at this, just pops straight out, nice and easy. <laughs> he says that. <laughs> get easy, this. There we go. Um, and you've got that lovely foiled aperture. Not only, only do you get the foiled aperture, look at what else I got. I got a foiled topper base. Oh wow! How, how pretty, how beautiful! You know what? They're really good for keeping, and if you're a stamper or you're getting into stamping, putting your stamp bits on. You put a sentiment, stamp a sentiment onto that, and uh, and ink it. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. You get twenty four of these. There is a mix of shapes and designs. So you've got your ovals here, um, and these are in, this is seven by five, which I think is a lovely size, isn't it? I seven love by seven five. by fives. Absolute favourite. You've got ovals there. You've got rectangles. You see how easy they come out? That one's already popping out. Uh, you've got circles, and then you have the same, but in gold. So that's a golden foil, um, and it's that beautiful gold foil. It's not that, that, that yellow gold that's too yellow. It's the lovely, rich gold that we use here at Hunky Dory. Um, the rectangles and, indeed, the circles. So there's two of each in each colour, and then we've also got square cards. So it's a mix of 7 by 5s and 6 by 6s And when you're going through all of them as well, you can see the shapes from the tech the Pyramount, so you can see how it really, really they coordinates together. They absolutely coordinate perfectly. And it's something that I absolutely love that we do here, is that we give you absolutely everything you could possibly think of needing to get the most out of your product. Oh, Natalie. That was you, good, that, that wasn't it? It sounded quite that good. Was that was really yeah, good. Yeah, 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 you can do that again. Thanks. Okay. Um, there you go, you can see again these lovely scallop toppers. They really work, they're fantastic. Um, and of course, a nicely scored card blank. How simple, but how beautiful, how pretty. It's really nice. 11 team, 11 Again, 5% off if you were in the club. It is free to join the club, Club Hunky Dory. There's loads of free gifts, there's loads of cool stuff. Um, be, a, be in our club, please do join. Uh, let's go across to Nat and get demo number three, the last demo of the day. Yes, and this one's gonna be um, a lot quicker, here's to hoping. Um, I'm going to make a little um, stepper card, a centre stepper, um, and I need to cut my cardstock. This is from the, I think this is from the Hers collection, it's this beautiful fresh green, but I need to cut this 
um, to 13 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So let's get 15 centimeters by 13 centimeters. So this is going to be really tiny. And then we want to lay this out onto our scoreboard and I'm going to lay it out so the 15 centimeters is here and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to get my topper first actually so I know where I need to but I think regardless of what we do with this center it's going to fit in. We're going to use this beautiful floral one from the hers collection. This is on um, sheet number six. So I'm going to leave a seven and a half centimeter gap here. So you only need to go in three centimeters on each side. So the first one, we're going to do one and a half, one and a half to this three. And then we're going to do one and a half from that, which is three. And then we go two centimeters, which is five, then seven centimeters. So you've got two that are one and a half, two that are two centimeters, and then the back two are four centimeters. So one, two, three, four, which gives you um, that score at 11. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip this over. And I'm doing that because I've often scored this way, turned my cardstock and carried on doing that pattern is not the way you want it to be. So I find that if you turn your cardstock over and then repeat that, so uh, one and a half, three and a half, then five centimeters, seven centimeters, and 11 centimeters. And then what we're gonna do is using our um, trimmer, and this is one of the best qualities of this trimmer, is I'm just gonna put this at three centimeters here. I pop my thing down and then lift my blade up, which you can do here, pop it down. And you can do that because of the flexibility that you have in this. Pop it down and then I'm gonna score it up to this top section where I have my last score. And then I'll flip it over and do exactly the same. So put my cardstock at that three, put my trimmer down, Make sure my notches are in line with my scores all the way down from the top to the bottom, like so. And then I'm going to get my scoreboard again because what I need to do is just measure seven and a half centimeters. That's on the inches side. <laughs> <laughs> seven and a half centimeters. And then just holding that there, we're just going to score across that center section at seven and a half centimeters. And then when we mountain and valley fold this. So mountain means that you raise the center raise section up, up valley and valley means down. that you push it away from you. So we'll just do that nice and. So isn't this great? So guys at home, this is Natalie doing a quick card, right? It's gonna be so quick. So Natalie, it, 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 I bet you it is as well, but Natalie it makes the difficult look E look easy. Uh, she's so talented. So there you go. Now you have your center stepper made in no time at all. Absolutely no time. And then we can put our pyramid on and I've got some what coordinates. What size is it? It's like the cutest thing I've ever it's seen. It's really tiny. It's from our scoreboard. It's from our scoreboard minis collection. So in inches, it's five by three. Oh, I um, love it. It's five by three inches. Um, in centimeters, it will be 13 by seven and a half, but it's super, super cute. Um, I've got some of this nice ribbon, but it might be a bit too long. Natalie, Helen has got the whole anyway. collection in her basket. Uh, Jackie says, so I need the aperture cards, the inserts and the Pyramount collection. So she's after all of it. Jan Castle said, will I show the envelopes again, please? And the price, of course I will, don't worry. Um, uh, Jackie says that she's always learned, wanted to learn how to make one of those. There Remember, you go. all of our uh, shows are available on Catch Up. You can, um, that sounds really posh as if they're available on BBC One Catch Up uh, or Sky TV Catch Up. They're not, they're available on Facebook and they're available on YouTube. You can jump uh, onto either of those. You can go onto the those. hub as well and watch them back on the you hub. You can do, can't you? So we are available. So you can, you can watch that back slower. You can pause it, rewind it, make sure that you're following what Natalie's done, um, which is brilliant. 
So then I'm just going to add my foam pads. Lynn I've says, lost my strips that Lynn, I used at the beginning. Lynn says, however, sure. did you make that stepper card? It looked like magic. It is magic. It's absolutely magic. But once you've learned how to do it, you're going to be able to do it like all the time because it's so fun. And now I'm stuck because I'm not sure which way my flowers go. I think it's this way. There we go. Some of the artwork is really easy to match up, but some of those where it's a bit more like crazy flowers like that one, it can get a bit difficult. Um, but then we've got our centerpiece in here. That one goes like that. You can tell that one. And then this is our one for the middle. Okay, everybody, that is it for our Win It Weekly. Uh, the comments that we have had will now be checked and everything apart from today is already have and they do it as they go through the show to be honest um, so all of the correct answers will be in that spreadsheet they will press the fancy button it's a macro i think it runs on it anyway um, and they the winners will pop out those winners they'll make a little graphic they'll be doing that very soon and well. give it five minutes or so we will be giving away those lovely little books of wonder so now I'm just going to add, before I put my topper down, to this front stepper, I'm just adding some red tape directly in the centre, like so. So what's the difference now, red tape to normal red, double sided tape? Red tape, tape is, is high tack tape, um, so you know that whatever you're sticking down is going to stick, it's not going to budge, it's really good for construction, um, it works great with your durable scrubble as well. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just stick this. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of twist it possibly. No. Well, let's cut it because I can do this because of the lines in it. I can Shelley's pointing out that I can straight. still end up on the naughty step because Debs can watch the catch-ups too. <laughs> it's very, very she, true. She can and she probably will. You'll be in trouble when you get home, oh, of course. I'm sure. If not, I'll email her and say, Debs, you need to look at this. Jan, I will show you the, uh, the envelopes and the cards very quickly after Nat has finished uh, this demonstration. Of course I will. So I've just trimmed that down and because it is a, a ribbon with a pattern, it was quite easy to do and not get it too wonky. And then I can pop that on. Guys, remember, if you want to off. order, it's hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. We have this wonderful Pyramount collection this multi-buy of the his and hers, the his and hers are available at £11.99 each, but that multi-buy is £19.98. And as we said before, you actually get 96... It's crazy. It's brilliant. Loads. 96 individual, separate, Pyramount toppers. Not 96 layers, 96 actual toppers that you actual get. Actual toppers. Which are brilliant for your stock. Hey, people, you can make these up, because they're relatively easy to make up, you can make them up in a batch, put, store them in, in a clear bag. Uh, where you can see them and you're away to go for some quick and easy card making you are i've doubled up my top my um foam pads there just peel that off because i haven't done it we're going to stick this in the center like so so then it's just on that bottom edge but you've got that really nice blue sort of showing through there um, i've got the sentiment which says forever in our hearts now i can just pop this Probably in this bottom corner, actually. So let's just put that on foam pads and we'll double up on one side because it will need doubling up there. We've got a touch of after watershed conversation going on here on the, on the, uh, in the comments. Uh, it was very funny, actually. Was it, uh, Shelley said, no Vianetta for Dan this weekend. No Vianetta for Dan this weekend. I love Vianetta. And then, and then Zara said, is that code for something? <laughs> Cheeky, cheeky. Vianetta. No code for Vianetta. There is, we Vianetta. don't need a code for Vianetta is Vianetta. It's that good. It's <laughs> we love Vianetta. so good. We, I know. There's I, someone I, said I'm not even joking. Absolutely love it. I said to, I said to, when I rung home yesterday, because it was granddad's birthday, I said, what are you having VT? He said, he told me what he's having. I said, um, did, did dad buy you a Vianetta? He was like, oh, we've got some ice creams, yeah. It's good, isn't it? It is. Um, there was some, somebody said earlier on uh, on the comments that, that they're always hungry when they watch our, our so shows. We constantly we, talk about food. We are food. always talking about food. We're such it's foodies. We it are was real really foodies. bad. 
So then, but I'm, we're not posh foodies. We're, we're oh no, we're, a ninety-nine P Vianetta yeah. will do it for us. <laughs> it's true. So then, I've just added some more um, gemstones to the edge of that there. So it's just a really, really oh, the light does not like that colour, does it? It's really bright the go. light today. It's been shining off quite a few things, and, it is, and it's it's not the shining light. Should we do it on this one? It's sort of it's satin, not one. glossy. You know, there, there you, you go. go. So you've got your little stepper. You could add some of that because um, I had it here. Um, you could add if you wanted to to decorate these panels some of this beautiful blue because that really matches with the colors as well um, but obviously we need it to be quick so now it's beautiful and there's lots of people have said that they're they're really happy that you showed how to make that but you did make it look like magic uh, okay very quickly i'm going to show you a couple more cards that have been made with this lovely hers section or selection of the uh, pyramount topper collection uh, I think that's brilliant. It's great for the um, for the youngsters. Uh, I love it. And so I love cool, that isn't it? Stripes there. Um, I like these... putting the sentiment in the middle as well because it. It's you don't good, really think it? about that, but it's a really nice different way to do it. You can see this black here. This is these are our gemstone rolls. So this is just Ooh. one section off a gemstone roll, and those are brilliant, guys. Um, don't buy your gemstone rolls this weekend. I'm just telling you that we have got a diamond sparkles takeover. I think it's Monday. Am I right, Emily? Hmm. Buy them on Monday. Okay, um, next let's show you this with the, we didn't know, is it a viola, is it a violin? Nobody knows. Again, you've got some asymmetry in here and it's sneaking in everywhere, isn't it? It is. With the background, but it's really, really nice. It just um, breaks it up and Who makes it a that? little bit different. I'm gonna say it might be a Jane or might a Sheila. Jane. Jane, very talented. Uh, that's the flowers with the cup. Whether there's soil in there, or I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, and the typewriter as well. So there's more symmetry to this one, but it's very, very equally pretty. Okay, very quickly, a couple more things to do. I said that I'd talk about the uh, the card pack and the envelopes. So from an envelopes perspective, you get the bright white envelopes. Um, they You get 12 of the seven by five, and you get 12 of the six by six, okay? Um, they're slightly oversized so that they are perfect for the car blanks. They do fit in together perfectly. So there's 24 envelopes in total because there are 24 car blanks. I'll just bring these, I've messed with these now, so they're all the wrong way round, they're all upside down, and I do apologise. Let's start with the, um, with the 7 by 5 ones. So you get the ovals, you get the rectangles, all of these shapes match perfectly the, uh, the Pyramount designs that you've got. Uh, so you'll be able to pop those into the back as an aperture, so if you see this one for instance, you could put it onto, into the back there, and your aperture, you'll be able to see it through and still close your card. Um, you've got circles, you have them in both silver and in gold, two of each, okay, there we go. Uh, and then you've got the square ones which are six by six, lovely sort of a, it's not a scallop, it's a fancy label shape. Fancy that they call, label. Aren't they? Um, you have the, uh, the square, you have a scallop circle. Uh, these look absolutely beautiful. Ink Me, 300 GSM, you can put whatever colour you want onto it. These are already scored for you, simple as that and they stand up because they're 300 GSM straight and true. Uh, lovely little product, £11.99. I'm really pleased we did it. I think it coordinates so nicely with the Pyramount and of course um, I've moved them out of the way but that, oh it's here, um, that insert that's only £8.99 for 48 sheets of insert paper uh, that's beautifully sort of sponged isn't it um, in those gorgeous it's colours. Lovely. Sort of watermark the sponge, but very, very nice. And 48 sheets for 8.99 is a cracker. Guys, it's Friday, couple of things left to do. Um, we have our Win It Weekly answer. Are you ready, Teddy? I'm you excited. will find out whether you have won. Um, it's like an education. Go through all this, work out everything. which one. This one. We asked you to like, share and comment. And thank you so much to the people who like um, our our shows. We really, really appreciate it. We love feedback as well. So if you have anything that you like or dislike, especially dislikes as well, oh, tell yeah. us. If you like, he goes on too much or uh, there's too much shine off his head, off the, off the, um, <laughs> the lights, you tell us, we wanna know. Um, thank you so much. Uh, so we asked you to like, share and comment. Native to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? Was it A, a frog, B, a flamingo, or C, a monkey? I have no information, but I do believe there's a picture. What is it? It's, it's a, frog. a frog! That doesn't look like a chicken. It looks nothing like a chicken. Are you ready, Teddies? 
I have some information. The mountain chicken is one of the largest frogs in the world. Must be a big one. Its name comes from its strong hind legs, which okay. locals find very appetizing as they taste like chicken. <laughs> Little froggy. It's so all that's... wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> can we have a list of the winners, please, Emily? Congratulations, Joan Ballantyne. You have won that lovely bundle of little, little, little. You've won that lovely bundle of little books. Thank you and very well done. Congratulations, Joan Ballantyne. Congratulations, Marella Robinson. Congratulations for Beryl Roberts. Congratulations for Kerry Rambert and for Pamela Correnti. Right, Congratulations need... for all of you. You're brilliant. We need to send him back to his office for the rest of the day. It's because I'm getting all the stupidity out now because I know how much trouble I'm going to be in from Kelly when I leave here. So yeah, the longer I make this go on, the, the longer phone. it is before I get in trouble. Um, Last thing, guys, it is Friday. Let's spin that wheel. Here goes, buddies. It's time to spin the wheel. Uh, we give you a little bit of information about when we're next on and so on after we've spun this wheel. Uh, and then Emily, we'll ask you to comment. What are we asking to, I know, what should we ask him to comment today? Have we got anything that we can ask? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me a question, why, I don't know the answer. Why don't we say you have to read the comment, his or hers, because it's a his or hers. Okay, hand. so, which is your favourite collection? Was it the his, was it the hers? We'd like to know. Uh, we're going to spin this. We're going to tell you what's going on. You've got 60 seconds, and then Emily, the beautiful Emily, is going to choose a winner. And somebody's going to win. What they're going to win? Spin, spin, spin. What they're going to win? They are going to win a craft markers. Oh my God, that is that is a mega prize. Do you know, are you ready for this? That is, they're so expensive. This. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. Let me grab, right? Honestly. Okay. Are you ready for this, people there's at a, home? There's a full we're, set down here. We're doing this now. Where's the full set? Let me just grab this, right. Okay. Oh my, I'm, oh my. People at home. What? I can't even I speak. I think, I think. This is mega. You might be sat at home thinking, they do spin the, you know, spin the wheel, yeah, okay, they're going to give away, you know, a couple of sheets of Miri card or whatever like that, all right, yeah, yeah. Um, no, this, when it lands on this, it, like, you get, I'm really pleased, this you is get mega. our prism craft markers. These are our alcohol-based markers. Our alcohol-based markers. Somebody right now is going to win, you see this, you see that pack there, would, would you like to? 14 of them. Would, shh, don't tell them yet. Would you like to win that pack there? Because that's what we're giving away. It's not what we're giving away. There are going to be 14 packs um, of prison markers winging their way to somebody after this show today. I'm gobsmacked. Okay. This is a mega prize. They're, I think they're a tenner each. Are they a tenner each? I don't they're, even they're either know they're eight, nine, more ten, or nine, 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 nine each, something like that. And we're giving away all 14, the full collection, in 60 seconds. We want to know his or hers. Which did you prefer of the uh, Pyramid? How much is the bundle for those, Emily? £139.87. So I'll spin the wheel. Wow. It's just about to give away. £139.87. Let me try and get the, the lights away. Uh, worth of goodies, that'll do. Um, worth of goodies. Wow. We've already given away 100 quid's worth of little books. Love Fridays. Thank Craft It's Friday. Lots of fun. Um, okay, TV schedule, Create and Craft, which is on Sky 683, Freeview 95, Virgin 748, or Freesat 816. Today. Today, yes. At 7.30 p.m. with our Pauline, uh, Pauline Wheeler, the very talented and very beautiful Pauline Wheeler, with the final show with this Paramount collection. If you are a Crate and Craft buyer, you can buy yeah, Hunky Dory can. goodies on Crate and Craft. You can buy Hunky Dory goodies uh, at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. You can buy Hunky Dory, Hunky Dory goodies from all good craft stores uh, around the country, which will be opening up again soon. I'm so excited. It's so good. Um, but also, yes, you can buy it from Creating Craft, and they will have this Paramount collection on again at 7.30 tonight, as long as there's stock Definitely tune left. in, because Pauline's going to have some fantastic inspiration for you to watch. If you've bought this from us today, um, again, it's worth tuning in, because yeah. you can see what Pauline Loads does. Loads more demos she will do to see things. what to do with this collection. 
We're going to give away, we're going to add, because on here there is a prize rollover, we're going to add the Prism Ombre ink pad, uh, the blues, which is beautiful. So we're going to add this um, to the prize rollover. Oh, we're going oh, all over the show. Oh, and we're back. Oh. I'm panicking, but I care. Are you panicking? <laughs> Have you... Are you, what are you, oh, because you're choosing somebody. Yeah, it's that uh, everyone's commenting and going mad. Everyone's going mad because they want 140 quid. It's a pounds. mega prize. Okay, it's a mega prize. Surprise. Okay, Prism, uh, Blues, Ombre, Ink Pad is going into the rollover box. Next up on Hungry Dory Craft TV, 10 a.m. Monday morning with a brand takeover on the craft show. I've already given away this secret as to what it is. I know. Because I can't hold water. <laughs> are you ready? Emily, have you chosen? It was a difficult decision because usually people are giving you, there's something good to go off, but you just had his or hers, didn't you? It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, it was a difficult decision. Emily, who is the winner? Dawn Cressy. Dawn Cressy, congratulations. You have just won a full selection, a full collection of our Prism markers. Please, Dawn Cressy, will you either email studio at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk or you can message us on Facebook um, to let us know your address details uh, and we will send them out to you. When, Emily? Today. Today! What uh, an amazing prize. What an amazing prize. Guys, don't worry if you didn't win. We'll be spinning the wheel again next Friday. There will also be a brand new Win It Weekly on Monday morning. Um, don't forget our wonderful... Paramount, his and hers collection yeah. is available at just £19.98. Get it while stocks last. Waterfall cards back in stock because we reprinted them because people love them so much. Decoupage birds in stock but going to go out of stock soon. Love these sort of new concepts and ideas yes. that we're doing this year. It's brilliant. It is goodbye from me and we hope you have a wonderful weekend. Really enjoy, relax. Uh, let's hope the weather's good and you can spend some time out in the garden. It's goodbye from my friend Emily. And it's goodbye from my wonderful friend, Natalie Mosbratt. Bye, everyone. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. See you later. Bye.